Hi, I'm Bob Castor. I teach in the Classics Department at Princeton University. I've been there since 1997. Uh, I did 22 years at the University of Chicago before that. So I've been doing this a fair amount of time, uh, teaching Latin, studying Latin language and literature, and most recently doing critical editions of Latin texts. I'm currently working on an edition of The Lives of the Caesars by Gaius Vittonius Tranquillus, a very important source for our knowledge of the early Roman emperors. So we're going to talk today about a critical component of producing a critical edition, which is the construction of the apparatus criticus, the critical apparatus, or apcrit, as it's known to its friends. The apparatus criticus is the stuff at the bottom of the page. Why is it there? Well, it's there basically to present the data on which the edition is based. And we do that to accomplish two goals. First, to treat the reader as an adult. I always tell my students, if you don't use the apparatus criticus while reading a text, you're putting yourself in the position of a child. A child being led around by the hands of its parents, or maybe sitting in the back seat of the car while the mother or father decides where they're going and how they're going to get there. The apparatus allows the reader to be the collaborator of the editor and to test his own judgment against the editors. And by doing that, the reader holds the editor accountable. The editor has to give a reason for making the decisions that he or she makes and to show the exact evidence on which that uh, decision is based. So what kinds of data are involved in the apparatus criticus? Well, there are two kinds, basically, dependent upon direct and indirect transmission. In the first instance, there are manuscript copies that go toward making up the manuscript tradition. The tradition of texts that have been copied letter by letter, word by word, line by line, by mostly anonymous scribes over the course of the centuries. In the second instance, there are quotations and references in other texts including excerpts in anthologies. Uh, in the case of Suetonius, again, there are two points in the Middle Ages, once in the 9th century and once in the 12th, when rather than copy the whole text, someone decided, hey, I'm going to make selections of Suetonius's greatest hits, a kind of Reader's Digest condensed version of the, uh, of the lives of the Caesars. Then if we move to the indirect transmission, there are citations and borrowings from the text that subsequent writers incorporated in their own works. Suetonius was an important source, as I've already mentioned, and later Roman historians working in late antiquity in the Middle Ages quoted from him, referred to his text, borrowed from his text, and it's often these quotations and borrowings that are useful in helping us to decide matters of textual uh, uncertainty. And then there are other sources of data. Uh, for example, inscriptions on stone or metal. Uh, the Emperor Augustus, who's the subject of Suetonius' longest life, at the very end of his days, left a very long inscription called the Reis Gestae Divi Augusti, the accomplishments of the deified Augustus, which he instructed to be set up in all areas of the empire so that people could appreciate his accomplishments. And it happens that Suetonius used that inscription as a source. And it's very often possible to compare the text of the Reis Gestae with the text of Suetonius and bring the one to bear on the other in order to solve a textual difficulty. And beyond information that we get from antiquity or the Middle Ages, uh, there's also the sequence of editions that have been produced in Europe since the year 1470, when the first printed edition of Suetonius's works was issued in Rome. Uh, there's been a long line of such editions, more than 200 of them, some of them made by very famous scholars, including Erasmus of Rotterdam, who produced edi an edition published in Basel in 1518. Any editor working on the text today must take these earlier editions and the judgments they represent into account.